welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing just a typical day in my life style vlog video. Uh, but I kind of want to put more of an emphasis on how I've been trying to stay in shape during quarantine. For me, it's... <sighs> It's been a struggle to stay consistent and productive in like the working out area of my life because I love fitness classes like SoulCycle, Pilates, I like going to a trainer and that is motivating for me because I'm accountable and working out at home has been really hard for me because I wake up and I'm working in my apartment and then I'm working out in my apartment and then I'm hanging out in my apartment and relaxing and it's just so many things that I'm doing in my apartment so it's hard to decipher between like, okay, now it's workout time, now it's working time, now it's relaxation. So I'm gonna be sharing with you what I've been doing to try and fix that area of my life because I mean, two months into quarantine, I finally have it down pat. And I'm actually gonna vlog today, which is Saturday, and also tomorrow, which is gonna be Sunday because tomorrow I'm gonna go in grocery shop and I wanna talk about juicing and more of that aspect because I feel like juicing honestly has been motivating for me so that is going to be the video for today and then i'm also just going to show you guys what i'm doing today in general so this morning we woke up at 6 30 a.m which that is motivating in and of itself because if i wake up early and i get my workout in in the beginning of the day then i get back at like nine o'clock and everybody else is just waking up and i'm like wow i already did this 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 and this and now i'm just going to continue being productive and have like a really great day woke up at 6 30 and me and isaac actually went with some of our neighbors who we've been quarantining with we went on a long long bike ride all the way to corona del mar which is about a 10 mile well it's 20 miles round trip so we went all the way down to corona del mar on our bikes and got some breakfast while we were down there and then came all the way back and we probably got back ar around like 10 30. we weren't like pushing ourselves and we did stop and take some breaks but it was really nice and relaxing and we were able to get out of our home which always is a benefit during quarantine i got back and then i ended up taking our dog frankie for a nice long walk so that she can like get her exercise in for the day and i also got some exercise in as well in my mind all of my cardio is done but I still wanna do like some abs and some arms today. I think it's like 12 o'clock. I took a little break, made some food, but now I'm actually gonna go down to our garage and sauna. We actually just got a sauna. We purchased a sauna and we put it in a garage in our apartment complex. Not every apartment gets a garage. We ended up renting one because with Isaac being in the NFL, he needs to stay in shape. And the NFL sent the players a bunch of workout equipment and we had nowhere to put it in this tiny little apartment. Apartment. We're actually sp splitting the garage with the neighbors that we're quarantining with so they have workout equipment We have workout equipment and it's just overall like really great So I am about to go down to our garage and sauna and I'm going to bring you guys down there with us The NFL did not send us the sauna. We purchased it. Um, we're actually splitting it with our neighbors that I talked about literally multiple times in this vlog, but it's really nice because I don't know, it's a thing that gets me out of my apartment. Like, just like the bike riding. Like, Isaac and I didn't even have bikes before quarantining. Even if it's just like buying a scooter, buying a longboard, or like getting a new pair of shoes and being able to like go on a run and get yourself out of the, ho out of the house. That's like what really motivates me. So, I am about to, um, I already have my workout stuff on because the bike ride, but I'm about to take out the dog and then we're gonna walk down to the garage and I'll show you guys the sauna because it's pretty cool. And I have not yet saunaed yet. So I'm really excited because it's gonna be my first time. All right, so I just got to the garage and this is what it looks like. So as you can tell, it's just a bunch of workout equipment and then we have a sauna. So Isaac is actually building a desk, which all of that stuff is. He just had to run back to the apartment. But I'm actually about to hop in the sauna. So I have towels here because don't want it to get gross over time. I don't want my sweat on the seat. Uh, so I'm gonna hop in the sauna and this sauna honestly is so cool because it has like chromotherapy. So it has different lights for different things. So like green is like winter blues, blue kills bacteria for acne, yellow positivity and spirituality. So it's really cool. Um, Isaac said that this thing gets pretty hot. I mean, it's at 155 right now, but um, nobody else is in here. It's just me. Here's all Isaac's workout equipment. But this is what everything looks like. There's no interior design here. None, absolutely no interior design. So yeah, let's go ahead and hop in the sauna. 
so I put a towel on the floor and I put a towel on the seat and that's just kind of our sauna rules because we aren't just using it for ourselves. So we wanna keep it as clean as possible so that we can all enjoy it for as long as possible. In the sauna not too long ago, I've been messing around with like the lights because that changes color. But I set the timer for 40 minutes. I don't know if I'm gonna survive the entire 40 minutes. I'm already sweating pretty bad. As you guys can tell, Isaac is out there right now. Um, but I'm just gonna sit in here, sweat. I don't really get service down here, so I don't know what I'm gonna do for 40 minutes, but let's see if I survive. Ooh. Ooh, I like the blue. What does the blue mean? Kills bacteria, relieves minor, relieves migraines. Let's do purple. Yeah, I'm not really feeling purple. Oh, that's purple, okay. Maybe I'll just chill on purple. I just got back to my apartment and I ended up only staying in the sauna for like 20 minutes and I was overheating and sweating and I think if I'm gonna go to the sauna multiple times a week, I need to gradually work up to a longer time frame instead of just like sitting in there for 40 minutes. But it was super relaxing and I like walked away from it feeling really good. So I'm excited to have that to use at my disposal. I'm about to eat some lunch and like I said, I'm going grocery shopping tomorrow so I have nothing left in my fridge. Like literally what I'm eating for lunch is tomatoes, onion, and lettuce. Obviously I put dressing on it as well, but that's what I have for lunch. It's a super small little lunch. So once Isaac is done, I think me and him might go for a long walk along the boardwalk. Um, I saw cops out there earlier today, so they might be closing it, I don't know. But we might go for a walk and probably get some to-go food because I am completely out of food. But I'm gonna relax, watch some YouTube videos, and then probably go and shower off and wait for him. So it is now the next day and Isaac and I ended up going grocery shopping this morning. I did not vlog any part of it because one, I don't wanna get germs from my hands to my camera and to my phone, so I really couldn't vlog any of it. And two, I feel like diet is just such a big part of my health not only for like staying healthy on the inside and like staying fit, but also for my acne. If you guys didn't know, I cured my acne basically with mainly changing my diet. So diet for me is just such a big part of my life and I feel like I can talk about it for hours. I figured why not just make it its own video. So if you guys wanna see that video, be sure to subscribe, let me know down in the comments. I'm gonna be filming it no matter what. So let me know that you're excited for it uh, and I'm going to film like a what I eat in a day or like diet tips, what I eat in a week, stuff like that. So that'll be in a different video. But before I ended this vlog, I wanted to share with you guys some more tips on how I'm staying active and working out and motivation and stuff like that. So I'm gonna share with you my schedule and like my, basically like my workout schedule and what I do every day. And then I'm gonna share with you some apps that are my favorite apps and have been super helpful. Right off the bat, I do wanna say I just got an Apple Watch and I have had two Apple Watches before this and both of them have gotten stolen. So I decided to treat myself and get myself an Apple Watch and it has been so motivating to see the three rings close every single day. If you guys don't know what the three rings are, it's just an app and like one ring is you have to, you have to burn 550 calories in that day. Another ring is you have to work out for 30 minutes and then another ring is you have to stand for like a certain amount of time throughout the day. That has been really motivating just because if I'm not, if I don't plan on like having an intense workout, if I close all three rings, I know I still had a productive day even if it's just going for a walk or doing some jumping jacks or like something small in my apartment, I still feel productive. I know they've like decreased the price of Apple Watches and I actually got this one that is refurbished so if you go on to like apple.com and search their refurbished products, you could get a brand, basically brand new Apple Watch and that you can get like $150 off. So I know typically Apple Watches can be like $700, $800, but there are some Apple Watches that are a little bit cheaper, especially because it's refurbished. Some are a little bit older. Honestly, I don't think there's a huge difference between the older Apple Watch and the newer one. This has been honestly super motivating for me to have and like I can clock my workouts and my bike rides and I'm obsessed with it basically. So now that I shared that with you, um, I'm gonna talk about my schedule. 
having a schedule for me is super important because if I wake up, I'm like, oh, like I should get a workout in today and then I'll wait and I'll wait and next thing I know I'm on a 20 minute run and that's all I do for the day. I ended up sitting down and I wrote it out in a notebook and I put it in my notes and I have a plan. Like every Monday I'll do the same thing. Every Tuesday I'll do the same thing and vice versa. So on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays I do a like hit exercising and like working out a certain part of my body. So Monday I do legs, Wednesday I do arms and abs, and Friday I do full body. That just kind of like evens it out. Like I know I'm getting everything I need to be doing in a week in my schedule. I don't wanna like get my arms super and fit and then have my legs be super jiggly or like behind in the aspect of like muscle mass. So it's just really nice to have that decipher. Okay, my camera died. Um, but it's been super nice having that because I know when I wake up, I'm doing the same thing every day. And my workouts for that have been through the Sweat app. So I'm gonna put a picture on the screen of the Sweat app right here. And it's, it is made by a girl named Kayla Itzines. I think that's how you say her last name. Some people pronounce it differently, but she has this app, it's called Sweat. And there are so many variations that you can get with her workout plan. It's not like the same exact workout plan for everybody. So I am on the, it's called BBG and I'm on BBG 1.0. They have a BBG 2.0. They have uh, a wor like workout plans for people who are pregnant for people who are recovering after uh, being pregnant and people who are beginners. And it's honestly a really friendly app. So the interface is really easy. It says that I have legs are today, arms and abs are going, like it just has all the workouts. And I know that this is gonna be Wednesday and I know the full body is gonna be Friday. So that is what I use for like resistance training and hit workouts and stuff like that. As for my Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, I run. I know a lot of people aren't into running. I personally love running and it's a way to clear my head, but I was not always the biggest fan of running. Basically up until I found this app, which I'll explain to you guys in a little bit, but I found this app and I was like, oh, look, I hate running, but it was, it like made running look appealing. So I tried out this app and it basically just tells you like, okay, start running. Okay, stop running, start walking. Okay, start jogging. Okay, sprint at 80%, sprint at 100%. It'll give you audible cues as to when you should start and when you should stop and it's all on your phone. The app that I use for running is literally called Running. And if you guys have trouble finding it in the app store, it is Running and then just put by verb, verb, running by verb, <laughs> V-E-R-V. And you guys will find it. It looks like Tinder. It's just like a flame app. I'll put it in the screen. That app has been really helpful because you can input into the app, like you're a beginner runner and you're uncomfortable with some things. And like at the end of every workout, it'll ask, was it hard? Were you too exhausted? Was it too easy? And it'll modify your workouts, which for me has been a lifesaver because sometimes I'll jump into running after I haven't ran in months. And I'm like, okay, I am going to die if I run for longer than two minutes at a time. And then there are other times where I've been running pretty frequently and I'm like, hey, I think this was way too easy. I could do better. I love those two apps. They are big for me. At the end of the day, being in quarantine, I have nothing but time to do these workouts. Workouts. So if I don't do the workouts, I just know I'm making excuses for myself. But besides working out, I try and stay active as much as I can. If I end up waking up one day and just wanting to lay out all day and not do a full on workout, I'll just make sure to go on a bike ride later because at the end of the day, you gotta give yourself some slack. Like we're all struggling in quarantine a little bit. Like mental health is really important, especially now because we're all in our homes and we're not able to hang out with friends and it's kind of tough. Give yourself a break every now and then and if you don't work out every single day, it's okay. Even going for a walk is considered a workout. Be easy on yourself, but if you do wanna keep yourself accountable, make sure to make a schedule, do things that are motivating, like new purchases like this, buy a new yoga mat, buy a new pair of shoes. Like literally the easiest things get me motivated. So I actually have something I'm sitting here right now. I'm about to actually go work out and I might take some video footage while I'm working out. But this is Alani News pre-workout. You guys know I talk about Alani New all the time because I took their pill called Balance, which really helps my acne. 
I feel like a lot of people who are curious about balance aren't watching this. But if you're one of those people who have asked me, do I still take balance? The answer is no, I don't take balance anymore, but it's not for the reasons that you guys think it probably is. So if you want to know why I'm not taking balance, uh, just ask me down in the comments and I will discuss it in a future video. But I don't want to include that in this vlog because I don't know, I just want, don't want to jumble all the information. So right now it is currently 440. So I don't want to take a full scoop of pre-workout because caffeine tends to keep me up at night. So I'm going to do a little bit less than a full. I probably will still be awake. This is a lot of water. I don't know if I want that much. I'm going to spill some out actually. One, one momento. So I have like this much water and I'll just put in my scoop. Right now I'm using the Arctic white one. It tastes really good. I've also used the mimosa one, which is also really good. And I got these new straws from Target. They're really cool because they're bendy. They're little silicone straws, but Hey, another thing that can motivate you to go work out. I'm kidding, why would a straw ever motivate you to go work out? I don't know. I'll just mix this up, tastes really good. Gives me a little bit of energy to go and work out. Some motivation. So I am going to go and change because I can't work out in this big comfy sweatshirt. So I'm gonna go change and I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Something in my mind tells me it's 